Hello. So today I was thinking quite a bit about healing and healing in general. And sometimes when I work with somebody, they want to go back to the way things were before the illness, before the diagnosis, before the miscarriage, before the trauma. And well, that makes total sense when we're grieving because in grief, part of grief is, you know, the, the denial, the, you know, just all the stages, right? We, we kind of want to like not have to deal with reality, not have to deal with the pain, not have to deal with those things. And while I don't think anybody's perfect at dealing with those things, um, you know, it makes total sense. And one thing that I've realized as I've helped people um, find lasting, the lasting healing that they're looking for is that healing does not go backwards. Like real healing is a forward, a forward motion. Um, while we can't go back and we can't change what happened in the past and we can't go back and we can't make something different so it doesn't hurt us anymore. What we can know is that God never intends us to move backwards. He's He only intends us to move forward. And in the healing process, we have to get real with that. We have to get real with, I'm not going to go back to the way things were, but I can move forward to greater heights, to greater miracles, to a greater life than I have ever experienced before. And I came to understand that when I, before I even knew anything about real healing and energy work or even any natural modalities, um, what happened was I, back in 2013, I lost a pregnancy at 20 weeks and it, I was very, very devastated to say the least. It was the most difficult experience emotionally I ever experienced. In fact, to this day, I just think that there's no pain greater for a, a woman than to lose a child, um, which <laughs> I know God understands, right? Um, with losing Jesus. Um, so with that, I... I struggled because I wanted to go back to the way things were. I wanted to replace what was lost with something new. You know, as I'm just sorting through all this grief, I just wanted to go back to something that resembled what my life could have looked like or what it would have looked like if something good had happened instead of what something, the bad that had happened. So for me, I was looking at it as healing being a reversal of the trauma. And that's not necessarily the deep, true, lasting, beautiful thing about healing. Healing is a forward motion. Healing is accepting that you can't change the past, but you can absolutely 100% change the present in your personal free will. And you can totally change your future. So, um, with that, let's fast forward, you know, of, uh, you know, <laughs> a dozen years, um, here we are in 2013, um, coming up on the 10th anniversary of, um, the miscarriage that I had. Um, so as I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking, would I now knowing everything I have learned, would I have gone back and would I have if I could have redone that, those trials and everything, would I have tried to change what happened in my life? And the answer is no, because everything that I went through taught me what I needed to know and gave me greater gifts to move forward and truly heal. For example, um, after I miscarried, my body went into complete um, you know, hormonal shambles, um, crazy dysmenorrhea, um, 
all sorts of crazy symptoms and emotionally not not being okay a very very dark place and i was very troubled to the point that i knew i needed help but it wasn't i knew that the help that i needed was not something well well i'm pretty sure i could have gone to the doctor and found a band-aid you know like <laughs> a medication for the dysmenorrhea i knew it was an emotional issue i knew that my emotions because of the miscarriage had caused the issue that i should deal with it emotionally but i didn't know how and so i felt very much a lack of knowing what to do until somebody had mentioned the emotion code and you know i pushed back away from that for a while saying ah, i don't know if that's for me and then god kept working on me like come on come on just just buy the book just open up the book just read the first chapter little by little and in that time as soon as i opened the book i read the first chapter and god told me you're going to do this for yourself and you're going to do this for other people and you're going to change hearts and you're going to change lives and you're going to truly help people heal and for me i was like oh really <laughs> like that was just so unfathomable to me at that time so um but i but i was like okay i'll do it i'll see if i can get somebody to help me at least get started with this helping me clear my own baggage so i jumped on and on board and i'm like okay i'm gonna do this and i was able to have this this person who who coached me she was able to get my heart wall completely cleared and as soon as my heart wall of all the emotions were completely cleared my dysmenorrhea went away my hormones about stabilized emotionally i was totally fine and since that time not only have I developed the skill and helped my family, but I've helped hundreds of other people as well. And it was all started by the worst experience of my life, which was losing a child. So I have an angel son in heaven who I love. And now, you know, <laughs> it's crazy to say for some people, for some people, it's normal for other people. It's crazy to think that I get to talk to him on a regular basis. He's still my son. We still have a relationship. We still talk. And um, and my my kids even know when he's around. <laughs> like they, they can feel him. They know when he's around. They, you know, they're, you know, they're, <laughs> they're his sisters too. And um, so it's special. So I gained an angel in that tragic moment. And I also gained new possibilities, new life experiences. And looking back, my health has dramatically improved. My family's health has dramatically improved. The life, just the quality of life has improved so much. So healing is not going backward in time, except only to resolve those things in our past that are still sabotaging us now. That's the only reason we ever delve into the past is to make way for a beautiful future and focus on that. So healing is not going in reverse it's not pretending something in the past didn't happen it is accepting what has happened and making the necessary changes to create a different future a new future and a more beautiful future anyways just some thoughts for today thank you for watching